what do we want to work on more? Like closing? Um, people's questions, I think, usually are getting through to people in the beginning, when it dies down in the middle, and then getting the appointment. That's usually where it boils down to, in my experience. I'm just going to go for it. What no what one. questions? Do you have any other ones? Um, no, I mean, that's pretty much everything. I mean, if they ask, like, what are you going to do differently that my previous agent did, I would just kind of say along the lines, like, well, we would deliver results. Like, that's the difference. You know, we deliver results, or we helped 40 families, you know, alone last year in the same exact situation kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's strong enough, or what do you think? It depends on the personality type yeah. of the, the person. You know? Yeah, well, we can do it. We can role play mm -hmm. an expired so, and then you can hear it. Okay. Okay. So then I'll be the agent and you'll be the. Okay. Okay. Like a full conversation? Okay. Yeah. For, for the sake of the example, I'm not going to be like, don't talk to me, don't call me. Like, because those are the people we, we just let go anyway. If somebody's like, fuck you and hangs up, don't call them back. Yeah. Right? Okay. But if I'm like two or three questions in and they're giving you resistance, that's normal. Right? So I'll be yeah. tough, but I'm not going to just be stupid. Yeah. It's usually people's questions. Oh, what if I get that one? It's like, don't worry about that one. Okay. The people who are saying all these be okay. Like, I don't have much time to get to the point and she can talk. Right? Okay. And go ahead. Uh, hello. Yes. Hello. Is this Brian? Yes. This is Brian. Hey, Brian. This is Lloyd. I'll be very quick. I was calling about your home and sending emails that just came off the market. I wanted to see what your plans for putting it back on the market and getting it sold. Uh, I don't know, Lloyd. You're like the 50th person that's called us. Like, we don't even want to think about it right now. Oh, wow. I can understand that frustration. Maybe I'm number 51. <laughs> but I look, I'll be quick. I just wanted to see, did you guys still have plans on making the move if it was possible? Or what do you think happened? We don't know at this point. Um, I, we don't know. You, you know, don't know. Six months, nothing. Six. We don't know if we want to stay. We don't know if we want to go. We have no idea. Yeah. So in six months, you didn't get any activity? Nope. No offers? Nope. Wow. How do you feel about the agent? Upset, you know, but um, at this point, I don't know if we want to move forward or what we want to do. It's just uh, it's been a pain. You know? Yeah. So if the home had sold back then, where what were your original plans? San Diego. Go to San Diego, yeah. But at this point... Um, I don't know, it just seems like the timing's off. I, re I really don't know what we're going to do. Can you? Yeah. I mean, I uh, appreciate the call. Can we maybe, like, I'm going to talk to my wife anyway because I don't even know what we're going to do. Can yeah, you just of course. Call me back, like, in a week? Yeah. No, I can definitely call you back. But the reason that I'm calling you now is because even in your neighborhood, everything's selling in under 30 days. So the fact that you came off the market after six months raises a red flag. So, I mean, if you knew for a fact that you can be in San Diego in the next 30 days, would that work for you and your wife? Uh, well, that's what the last guy said, you know, and then we sat here for six months. So, no, of I mean, course. It sounds good, but, uh, you know, we just, at this point, I, I don't know who to believe or what to think. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you brought that up because there's actually facts I can show you. Your neighbors across the street, they sold in two weeks above asking price, and there's some other ones around the corner that are pending. So, I mean, again, if you knew for a fact, like money in your pocket, 30 days, you're packing, you're moved out to San Diego, would that work for you guys? I don't know, Lloyd. I just don't believe it, you know? Yeah. Well, would you at least be open to seeing if it was possible? Well, what what, what are you guys going to do differently? Well, actually get it sold, which is what you wanted in the first place, right? But, like, how, though? You know, like, I was with an agent. I was with Valerie for six months, and <laughs> nothing happened. And they promised me the same thing. They said, oh, wow. we'll guarantee you a sale in 30 days. You know, kind of like, you know, sounded confident just like you. Yeah, of course. Well, I'm glad that you brought that up because the 40 families that we helped last year had the same concern, and we got the job done for them. So if we did it for them... Do you think we could do it for you too as well? I don't know. Uh, well, look, this is what I'll do. When would be a good time for us to get together and I'll go over exactly what we are going to do differently so that you can actually start packing and get moving to San Diego. Are you available this week or would the weekend be better? Well, I think I would rather talk to my spouse first before we said anything. No, of just course. Just to make sure, you know. Yeah, and I want you to talk to her because I would be working for the both of you. So assuming that she's available um, are you mostly both together on the weekends or on the weekdays? Uh, weekends. Yeah, weekends. Weekdays. It's, it's crazy. Okay. She's here. I'm not. like. Yeah. So I only tentatively set up something for Saturday at 2 o'clock. Again, assuming that she's on board, you would be on board as well, right? I guess. Yeah. Okay. So Saturday at 2 o'clock, I'll put you in my calendar just in case something comes up. And I'll confirm with you on Friday just to make sure. And again, we'll go over everything Saturday. Does that work? Cool. Great. So I'll see you then. And then I pre-qualified. Oh.
I'm right sure, like, there. you see, I'm, like, almost, like, dismissive. I don't want to... That's one type of lead that you'll get. I don't know. We don't know what we're going to do. And I'm, like, call me back. Uh, I don't know. But she just keeps going, you know? Yeah, she just you keeps going. You want to go for the appointment, right? Because then at that point, if she calls me back and I'm, like, ah, it's, we're not that serious, then she can make the decision from the right position to say yes or no. We're not just giving in. We're saying, okay, we're coming from a position of control. We've determined that this lead is dead or not ready yet. We'll put them in the file and we'll continue. Right? Okay. Instead of calling, you don't get the appointment, you don't push, and you're like, fuck, I don't know. They might be motivated, they might not be. Right? And I don't know when I'm going to get them on the phone again. Mm -hmm. You have to like send me an email. I'm like, great, what would you like for me to, uh, when? What's your email? Oh, it's Lloyd at blah, blah, blah.com. Great. Okay, so what exactly do you want me to, to send you, Lloyd? And then she's going to have to answer that. She'll be like, well, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you know what? Ten more seconds. Boom. And I'll keep talking to her. Right? Because even that, they're going to be like, oh, well, just, I don't know. Like some of them say, I don't know. Right? Like, what would you need for me to send you to know Brian's the right agent? Imagine them trying to answer that question. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, just send me, like, your track record and all that shit. Like, mm -hmm. whatever, right? Yeah. But that's the way you respond. It's, it's strong. But, it, again, we're not giving resistance. That's the thing you have to pick up. When mm -hmm. she says, if she says, call me back, I'm not like, why? I'm like, of course. When? Tonight? What time? Great. Well, before I let you go, boom, another question. I'm not, because what most people do is like, you know the example, like, watch, put your hand up, put your hand up like this. If I push, she's naturally going to at least give me some resistance. She might not push back, but she'll like want to hold yeah. her space. Yeah. So what I'm doing is when they throw... When, when they put their hand up and they're trying to give me resistance, it's just like I'm going. It's like if somebody goes to push you and you grab them and they just fall because they're yeah. off balance. Yeah. They're expecting you to clash, but I'm not. I'm running. I'm playing with it. It's like I'm dancing with them. For example, when he yeah. was throwing me the objection about talking to the wife. Yeah. And I said, okay, of course, I want you to talk to her because yeah. I would be working for the both of you. Yeah. yeah. And then later on I said, assuming that she's on board, you're on board as well, right? Because now he's saying, oh, i got to talk to my wife. But if she, I'm already putting it in his head. If she says yes, you say yes too. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. That's a good one that I taught her a long time ago, right? But what I'm doing is I'm acknowledging like, yeah, of course, because it's going to be a, a joint decision, you and the wife. Now, if she says yes, right now, you're open to meeting with, with me. Yes, at this point. So it's just getting her. Okay, great. Let's schedule it for Saturday. You have a couple days to talk to her no rush. And I'll call you back and confirm. Fair? It's hard to say no to that because I'm handling all the contingencies, you see? Yeah. That's the goal. I want to make it near impossible for you to tell me no. Another thing you can use the softeners. I don't know if you caught, she's like, well, would you at least be maybe open to having a conversation about it? Versus, let's meet. Yeah. Easier to say no to that. If I say, well, would you be open to having a conversation about it? That's a lot harder to say no to yeah. versus would let's meet and let's sign an agreement. A conversation you know? about it? So there's little, little tactics here and there, right, that have to be employed, but... I mean, so you'll listen to her, how some of the calls go. You either hang up right away or you have a conversation like that. Yeah. Some of them might be more, okay, get to the point about it. You yeah. Know, like, uh, like, no, yes, yes. And she'll be like, okay, you ready? No, okay, great. Let's meet tomorrow. Great, okay, talk to the wife. Perfect. Talk to her. We'll set it for tomorrow. Okay. Like, you're just going to see a difference in personality type of the same mm -hmm. objections. What's your company? We don't want to sell. We're going to rent it out. It's the same shit over and over. But after a while, you become numb to it. Mm -hmm. There's no effect, but number two, you already know what they're going to say beforehand. As soon as they're yeah. like, well, we're thinking, she already knows what they're going to say. Yeah. We're thinking of taking a break. She already yeah. knows. So when she hears, we're thinking, she already knows and she already has a response like, loaded in to say. Right? Okay. Yeah. And if they say renting or they're going to take a break, you just kind of, not convince them, but you just kind of say like, well... You tell me, I want to run out. You know what? I, that makes sense, Valerie. I, I would feel the same way. Now, is that what you want to do? Or would you really rather sell it? And if they really want to sell, they're not going to say, oh yeah, that's what I really want to do. You see how I structure the question? Or they're going to say, well, I tried, but it didn't sell. Uh, no, I can continue talking. Oh, we're just fed up and da da da. Okay, I have a, a door that just opened. Right. And then I go back to, okay, so how did your previous agent right. do? Like, what stopped right. from selling kind right. of thing, right? Okay. So I, I know, I, I mean, I know it didn't work out, Valerie. Like, my next question, if you responded, I know it didn't work out. Uh, what do you think was missing, right? What do you feel stopped your home ultimately from selling? Oh, well, my agent, or oh, it was the price, ah, the market. Even then, I'm listening, because if you say the market, I don't know if you caught her, do the new homes are selling. 
Yeah. A market, really. You think it's